down. There we go. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a kind of challenge I guess. Not seen anyone do this before. I'm going to be eating like Zara McDermott, I think that's how you say it, for a day. So if you don't know who she is, she actually was on Love Island. I'm not too sure which season. That's in scared the life out of me literally got the best figure ever she posts quite a lot about her like diet and her fitness try and do the diet side of things but the fitness side of thing is not my forte i'm not very good with when it comes to fitness or exercise i wish i had her lifestyle hopefully by the end of it i'll be looking like her in one day i will hopefully have the figure of zara you know, i feel like she's been doing it for like over a year but one day of eating like her and hopefully i will have her figure I actually was thinking of doing this video quite a while ago, but recently she actually released an ebook as like a sneak peek of what's to come in like the future. So I'm guessing she's going to come out with like some recipe book or something like that. But I saw that she had the ebook and I was like, this is perfect. If you like these kinds of videos, please give it a big thumbs up. I was literally so happy because I just hit 7,500 subscribers. So please subscribe down below and comment down below if you follow Zara or just literally if you like these recipes. I'm excited because if it's healthy and I really like it, then this could be a game changer. Uh, Zara has said that she recently did like intermittent fasting. I'm talking as if I know the girl, that means she's gonna start eating at 1 p.m. and then I think she finishes by like eight or nine. So it's currently a little bit later now, so I'm basically gonna be following that as well. And yeah, let's get straight into the video because I'm really excited to film this one. I've literally been waiting such a long time to film this. I say breakfast, but the time is currently 10 past two. I guess this is probably one of her most popular recipes, actually her pancake recipe. I have actually already made these before and they are really nice and they are really, really healthy. These are like the only healthy pancakes that I actually like. More like the base of the recipe, all you need are three ingredients. So you just need one banana, one egg, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna take, this is like a fairly ripe banana. It doesn't really matter if it's got like bruises. That's why this recipe is quite good as well if you've got any like leftover bananas. The first step is just to basically mash the banana. So that is all kind of mashed. I'm just going to add in, or nearly drop the egg then. Ooh, that was kind of satisfying, kind of not. So I'm just gonna take half a teaspoon of baking powder and just plop that in as well. When you start actually cooking and like smelling food, you get really hungry. I feel like my belly keeps rumbling. To pop some fry light into the pan, add some of the mixture. So as you can see, you get quite a lot of pancakes, so that's four and there's probably one left in here. So I make about five pancakes the size that I make them. This is the hardest bit about it, is flipping them because they're really like fragile. Oh no, ah. I feel like you've just got to kind of wing it. So some of them don't turn out the prettiest, but we're just going to flip the ones that we can. Like that was a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> the last one's just cooking, but I'm trying to plate these up. So she does it in like a line. Put the pancakes here and then what she does, I'm just gonna put the toppings on it. A little bit of Greek yogurt just down the center. So I've got some blueberries that I'm just gonna put on top. I've got a real obsession with mango at the moment. So we've got mango we're gonna put on it. Just dropped a bit of mango on the floor. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Top some strawberries on it as well. So these are the pancakes. Yeah, you get quite a big portion as well. It's not like a small portion. This is literally one of my favourite meals. I have this all the time. Just worked out the calories in this, and this is 289 calories, which is really good for breakfast. I know I'm eating this at half past two. I like I did have a little bit of chocolate this morning. It's like the kind of consistency on the insides. I can't believe that all that is in this is a banana and an egg, basically. These would also be good for like an evening snack with like chocolate sauce over them as like a healthy evening snack. All gone. <laughs> I feel so much better now. I literally was so hungry and that was really tasty. I would highly recommend this recipe. 
from Zara's ebook. I'm going to be making her oatmeal and cherry cookies from it. And it says it makes 30 cookies. So either they're really small or this is going to make a lot. I have no idea. If you've watched my last video, you know what this means. Thanks to the shops today. And then light brown sugar. I don't even think it's light brown sugar you need. It's called dry brown sugar. But I don't know what it is, so I just got light brown sugar. Another thing you need for this recipe are glazed cherries. Went to seven different shops to find this. It was the last shop I found it in, and it was like a small co-op. Like, I did not expect it to be in there, and I found glazed cherries. So I was like, I'm not going to be able to make these cookies, because literally in the name, it's oatmeal and cherry cookies. So if I don't have the cherries, I can't make the recipe. It says in the recipe, which is a little bit of a... Like flour. It says to cream the butter and the sugar together, but you also use caster sugar in this recipe. So is it you cream together the butter and the caster sugar, you cream together the butter and the brown sugar, or you mix the sugars and cream it, but then later on it then says sugar again to mix in with the dry ingredients. So I don't really know what this first step is, but I'm just going to go with brown sugar and the butter first because they were the first two ingredients in the list so I've got 200 grams of light brown sugar going in and I just got 100 grams of butter going in we cream that all together okay this is okay this is oh no ah no I just dropped the mixture on the floor and it went flying a little bit extra so i just did like half of it again because i'm pretty sure i lost about half of the mixture this is what it's looking like it's all creamed together so i'm going to add two eggs into it ah, this is so glonky oh gosh it's squirted everywhere just add a little bit of vanilla extract just wing it this is what it now looks like it's basically just like a little bit runnier you can hear like crunch in the background my dog has finally decided to eat her breakfast at three o'clock now we need to put together all of the dry ingredients so i've just got another bowl and i weighed out this is 300 grams of rolled oats and you put in 200 grams of plain flour and then i'm going to add 50 grams of cast sugar i'm going to add one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda it's half a teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of nutmeg I'm just going to do a whole, pretty much a whole teaspoon of cinnamon because I don't actually have nutmeg. A little pinch of salt. I just found this tiny little spoon. I think this was from when I was younger, you know, Big Cook, Little Cook. This was from a set from Big Cook, Little Cook. So yeah, if you remember that show, then comment down below because I used to love Big Cook, Little Cook. I'm going to mix these all together. This is the wet ingredients and now I'm just going to put in all of the dry ingredients. So mix all of these ingredients together. Cool, this is quite a thick mixture. It's making my arms hurt. So that is what it's looking like all mixed together. I'm going to add 60 grams of walnut so I kind of like crush these a little bit. She says a handful of these glazed cherries so this was about um, 70 grams I think. I'm actually going to add some more cherries as well. Whilst that's settling for five minutes, she says, I've got to put the oven on for 180 degrees. And then I'm going to put them on a greaseproof tray. And she says to leave them about 10 centimetres apart. It then takes 10 to 12 minutes to cook or just until they're like golden. What they look like before they go into the oven i made 15 so obviously she said they made 30 and i made exactly half so these must be like double the size of the ones that she makes pop these in there. so i quickly just checked on the cookies <laughs> they have grown massively no wonder she does half of the amount now they are literally have gone massive, like probably half the size of them. I just have no idea if they're cooked or not. I feel like I messed it up by doing them too big. They're like little holes, which kind of creeps me out. I don't know, especially this one. Can you see? It's that holy. Ooh, I hate that. I just transferred them to a wire rack to cool. And they're actually turning out a lot better. You can see they're really golden. And they're kind of hardening a little bit now. So they've got a rough kind of crust so they're kind of crispy yeah i feel like you could eat them now so they're like warm a little bit 
They're actually very sweet. Ooh, these are actually nice. Don't look as good, but they taste really nice. You could have them for like breakfast. That would be so nice. Like if you were on the go, these would be really good on the go cookies for the morning for breakfast. You get such bad sugar cravings in the evening. No matter what my dinner was, I need something sweet in the evening to go with my cup of tea. And these are literally perfect for that because they are really sweet. Or you can make a sandwich with one cookie, sandwich ice cream and another cookie. That would be so good. And she said in her recipe that it was 140 calories for each cookie. But obviously I did double. I worked out mine, I put it in my fitness pal, using my own ingredients, came to 289 calories for one cookie. They are a lot more, it's not the healthiest thing in the world because I made them double size. It's now half past six, so I'm going to start making the dinner. Again, it's gonna be a dinner from her ebook. It's called like a creamy pea and tuna pasta or something. It looked really easy and simple. She said that hers calculated to like 490 calories. And mine comes to like 660 calories. So mine is quite a lot more. I don't know why. It's obviously the different ingredients. Maybe it's the pasta I'm using is more high calorie pasta. Like tuna and sweet corn mayo pasta. But it's definitely nothing like that. It's like creme fraiche. I've never bought creme fraiche in my life. The step is actually to get 100 grams of frozen peas. I'm going to pop them in there. I'm just going to drain the peas. I'm going to start to heat up some more water for the pasta. Whilst the peas were cooking, you were meant to put olive oil with tuna. You meant to drain this tuna and put the tuna in it in with the spring onions. So I've actually cut up two spring onions here already. I'm going to heat this pan up and the tuna. Ew, that's so gross. I'm just going to add two chopped spring onions to it as well. Cook all of that for four to five minutes. I'm going to add this is 200 grams of pasta. I'm going to add that to the pan. Oh no, this is what happens. Got like a couple more minutes left on it. And then this I've put on like a really low heat just to keep it like fairly warm. But this is really simple. I think at the end it just kind of all gets chucked into one pan. There's not too much washing up either. So do is you literally just spoon it into it and just pop it into the pan with the tuna basically you just mix it all together she says then you get your peas from before pop them back in i'm using 50 grams of cheddar cheese but she says to use parmesan but i couldn't find parmesan anywhere so i've got cheddar cheese going in and you basically just mix that in she says until it melts this which is lighter creme fraiche and i opened it and that is not what i expected it to look like it's like yogurt almost it's really weird but you get two tablespoons of that mix that into it this is what is currently looking like in the pan actually quite creamy so even though you only use like two tablespoons you get quite a lot of sauce it looks really tasty the size that i've got so i'm just gonna dig into this now and see up close yeah it does look quite tasty actually let's give it a go it is quite tasty it's weird having warm tuna mayonnaise is practically just oil so i'm guessing creme fraiche is like a that healthy alternative which is something that i actually would use in the future finish eating this now <laughs> so it's now nine o'clock at night i'm still going strong again from her ebook it's called apple nachos two apples here you just cut them into like thin slices the apple into like little segments like that So I've plated up the apple. It's actually really difficult to plate up and make it look nice at the same time. 25 grams of peanut butter, 20 grams of dark chocolate, and 20 grams of white chocolate. And basically you just melt them all down um, and drizzle them over the top. She used chopped um, almonds, but I didn't have any almonds. So I'm just gonna use the same walnuts from the cookies. Start with the peanut butter, dark chocolate. I'm just gonna do the white chocolate. crushed walnuts on top the lighting's really bad but this is what it's looking like it's proper loaded you, you can hardly even tell it's apples anymore because it's got all of the chocolate on it we're gonna take one Whoa! look at that piece there <laughs> this is good look at that wow it's not even focused but 
this is a really tasty snack look at that it's a double whammy i think it makes you think you're eating healthy but in reality it's just got chocolate and peanut butter on it that is the end of the video so i ate a day like zara mcdermott i really hope that's how you say because it it's really embarrassing if that's not how you say it. i'm looking forward to if she's going to release any more recipes i really hope it's some kind of recipe book oh the ice cream man's just gone so like funny that the ice cream man has come when i'm filming a healthy eating day video i wonder if zara would eat an ice cream from the ice cream man probably not that is the end of this video please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it subscribe down below see you in my next video